Now is not the time for a double legendary scoping. What's going on, Doombots? Tony Skinjili here with a thought. Um, and it kind of bugged me. It bugged me about Adam Warlock. It bugged me that this is the first time we're seeing the legendary without even knowing the other characters in the team. Even Jubilee, we saw like a little bit. We knew she was coming, but we didn't see her entire kit until we saw Bishop, the last member of the team. So it weirded me out. Here, we don't even know anything. We know that Gamora and Nebula are getting reworked. They're showing us Adam Warlock, Gamora, and Nebula. And there's speculation going around, rumors that, like, Phylavel and Moondragon are the next two characters. But things are sitting weird with me, right? Like, they used X-Factor plus Jubilee, which they don't really... Like, that's not a team that would be, like using the Ravagers plus Maw or something. It's it's very strange that those characters work together. And we understand why, right? It's the four most recent characters and the most recent new legendary making Adam Warlock a 10-character unlock. You know, the five to get Jubilee, and then Jubilee plus the four others. And that's fine. And I thought, well, why wouldn't we know the other two characters? Why wouldn't they wait, you know? Why wouldn't all of this happen? Why would we know everything about Adam Warlock and not there? And Mobile Gamer speculates for a long time the concept of a double legendary from Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. Uh, don't do that, Scopely. Now is not the time for, like, Adam Warlock and the Heroes for Hire to unlock, like, Moondragon or Phylavel or another legendary for this team. Like, that. now's not the time, guys. Like, I get it. Under normal circumstances, I don't think there's ever a time for that. But you literally just gave the entire community access to Silver Surfer and Kestrel, which have pretty much upset like the flow of the game for the next couple of months. Now a double legendary, uh, which I have no reason to believe will happen, just a fear in my head. That, like, now that you've announced that it's not the Heroes for Hire, a bunch of people are going to be like, oh, well, I guess I won't pay attention to the Heroes for Hire. And then you're going to be like, haha, surprise! You need them and Adam Warlock to get another Legendary in the next week or two. Uh, that kind of weirds me out. And I'm afraid that you don't understand that that's not, like, a fun and exciting growth for the game. That's not, like, a... Uh, like, ooh, look at how benefit. Like, you're going to basically screw a lot of people out of money and time and effort by doing a double legendary th at this point. There's never really a good time for it, but please, just don't do it. Do not release the another legendary on a team that requires Heroes for Hire and Adam Warlock. That's all I'm saying. I don't even know if it's going to happen. I have no reason to believe it's going to happen. I just think it would be the absolute player shittiest thing you can do. I think it would go as far as to say we don't care about the game or the players. This is exclusively about how to make money. Please don't do it. That's it. Have a good night. Have a great day, everybody. I've been Tony Scangili, and I will catch you later.